West Cork Rally 2023. Four Bashak Rally crews travel to Clonakilty to complete in March's West Cork International Rally. The two-day asphalt event was flooded with high-class entries searching for top results in the second round of the Irish Tarmac Rally Championship. Desi Henry and Paddy Robinson were seated eighth in their recently acquired Citroen C3 Rally 2. West Cork was only Henry's second event in the Citroen after finishing fourth on Northern Ireland's Bishop Court Stages Rally a week earlier. Henry and Robson were seventh overall after West Cork's opening lip of Cloa and Ballon the Test. Unfortunately, their run inside the top ten ended on stage three after sliding into a ditch on one of Cloa's slippery hairpins. Jason Black was another to make car tweaks over Rallying's winter off-season. Staying faithful to his pristine Toyota Starlet, Black had bolted in a 2.5-litre Millington engine ahead of his 2023 Irish Tarmac campaign. The young Arma pilot didn't take long to show its potential, grabbing second in modifies on the series opening round in Galway. Black and co-driver Carl Egan danced their way through West Cork's treacherous, rain-soaked country roads, finishing day one's eight stages, fourth in two-wheel drive and 13th overall. Their hopes of a podium finish were crushed by electrical issues on Sunday's very first stage. Black and Egan's service crew worked some magic to get them back out for West Cork's final lift of stages. The Starlet duo repaid their efforts with a fastest class 14 time on stage 12, the 16 kilometres of Shanaway. It mightn't have been the result they were hoping for, but Black and Egan could take a lot of positives away from a weekend getting to grips with Millington Car in really difficult conditions. Frank Kelly is a familiar face in Clonakilty. Despite living 400 kilometres away, the Ford Escort Ace has barely missed a West Cork rally in the past 10 years. Kelly and his co-driving daughter Lauren made the most of this experience on the challenging St. Patrick's weekend event. The Kellys made sure to bide their time, climbing from 34th overall after stage 1 to 15th by the end of day 1, courtesy of a brace of 3rd fastest two-wheel drive times on Ring and Dunworthy. Their patience paid off on Sunday morning as their modified rivals hit trouble in the increasingly wet conditions. All of a sudden, Kelly found himself second in two-wheel drive, a position he desperately wanted to cash in at the end of Sunday's six stages. Baby Blue, Frank and Lauren duly delivered with a few more top five class times which ensured they returned home with a chronic holding podium, second in modifies and 12th overall. Gareth Black and Connor Dunlop were back for more in the Irish Tarmac Rally Championship after finishing third in the modified series last year. The Toyota Starlet pairing headed to West Cork hoping to build on their top 5 Class 13 finish on Galway season opener a month earlier. Like their Bash Shack teammates, Black and Unlock steadily climbed the leaderboard over Saturday's flat out stages. A few spins and overshoots kept them on their toes on an entertaining opening day. Black even managed to catch an R5 at the start of West Cork's famous ring stage, which didn't exactly help their travels up a competitive Class 13 standings. Black and Unlock dropped from 6th to 8th in Class 13 when they had to check a strange noise coming from their starlet on Sam's Cross. They bounced back on the next test though, with two seconds fastest Class 13 times helping them secure a 4th place finish after a gruelling two days of rallying. Keep your eyes peeled on our YouTube channel for the next Rally 2023 season highlights.